Hello everyone. We the mentees of Space the Final Frontier SNT project would like to brief you with the work which we did during the project. Let us begin with the objective and overview of the project. A lot of us have fascination towards space exploration and travel. And to kindle the interest of several other students as well, Astronomy Club had streamed an Apollo 11 documentary even before the project began. This really helped create a good background for the upcoming summer project. Main of the main aim of the project was not only the in-depth analysis and knowledge of astrodynamics and rocket science but also to implement the concepts learned in some way or the other be it simulation mission report or solving the assignments that were provided to us to and towards the end also discuss about futuristic and promising techniques that may prove to be revolutionary for the future of interstellar travel a step wise methodology was followed while proceeding ahead starting off with developing some basic knowledge about space missions then learning about several components and systems of rockets and then applying that knowledge in several ways which we will be discussing soon some of the major concepts which we learned during the project include rocket design rocket equations aerodynamics the engines reentry propulsion orbital dynamics communication etc while studying trajectory optimization various concepts from maths and physics were used which was followed by analysis via moga modeling in, in matlab coming to a very important section results we derived the famous rocket equation from simple momentum conservation consequently we got the delta v equation that relates to the specific impulse for rocket dynamics the from simple force balance we obtained the general equations of motion in the r and theta direction we also obtained the function of variation of mass with respect to time These three main differential equations were used while studying trajectory optimization. From the initial parameters, the thrust produced by the rocket at five different altitudes, we obtained a spline curve of thrust versus altitude in order to know the thrust at any general altitude. Next up, we need to perform a maneuver known as gravity turn in order to achieve a stable orbit around the earth. For this, we need to turn the rocket from 0 degrees to 90 degrees within some altitude. The starting and ending point of gravity turn maneuver was provided and to calculate the angle the rocket made with the normal at a general altitude as you can see we use this function in order to plot the graph as we can see from graph 1 a change in slope is observed at altitudes of around 100 and 350 km which correspond to the starting and ending altitude of gravity turn thus confirming that the plots obtained agree with each other and are not contradictory Then we proceeded to obtain the variation of drag force and dm by dt with altitude from various different equations and using matlab we plotted the graph as well the sudden jump in graph 4 represents separation of stage 1 and stage 2 respectively a change in isp value was the reason for this also after 360 km of altitude we observe that the change in mass is tending to zero this is because stage separation is complete and now very few corrections are needed to achieve the required orbit now these trajectory equations are optimized but for maximum efficiency we need to optimize the rocket model for increasing its payload capacity while simultaneously minimizing its cost multi objective genetic algorithm aka moga provides us with a very clear and easy way to do so we and we get a range of optimum values following which we can design our rocket as close to perfect as possible to study about moga modeling we analyzed a research paper from mit let me guide you through our understanding of the procedure first a lot of random models are generated from them we choose the ones that are fit that that is the models that can comfortably reach our target altitude this is done by introducing a fitness function that gives out penalties based on the final altitude that the model can achieve obviously higher the altitude lesser the penalty and consequently the more chance for the model to be selected here the penalties for the 10th and 50th generation of models have been plotted and as you can see this is the penalty function that we got for the alt final altitude that is reached by the model then the fit functions are plotted onto a pareto front with the x and y axes corresponding to the payload capacity and price respectively then the non dominated individuals that is 
The ones that are better than the others are selected from this min-max Pareto front. The graph on the right is the representation of the same. When this process was repeated for 10 times, the fronts were combined, yielding the graph on the left. Now, the non-dominated individuals were chosen and the plot on the right was obtained showing us the best of the best models. As is the case with random point generation, we rarely obtain a smooth curve. So, in order to, in order to obtain a smooth curve, the process was repeated more times, that is, for 1640 iterations instead of just 10 times. As you can see, there is a pretty smooth curve which can get even smoother on increasing the iteration count. Now from this graph, we can easily see the utopian point, that is, the point whose cost to mass ratio is the lowest. This is the optimal model that we were aiming for. In this sample mission report, we have also made a comparison among the results and the actual rocket that was launched. We got an error percentage of 1.69% which was within an agreeable limit. Learning concepts is always nice, but experimenting and applying those things add much more to the fun and experience of the project. Hence, we use the knowledge of topics like specific impulse, engines, propulsion, re-entry, orbital maneuvers, etc. to plan MUN and DUNA missions in Kerbal Space Program. Here are some images from our mission recordings. Thus. After learning such a diverse set of topics, the project aimed at analyzing real-world space missions in depth, in which we covered historically important as well as futuristic missions, ranging from the legendary Apollo 11 mission, India's Pride Mars Orbiter mission, SpaceX, SpaceX's Crew Dragon Resilience mission, and the promising Artemis program. Even though the project has come to an end, the learning doesn't end here. We will be further exploring new modeling techniques other than MOGA such as SHCD to get more accurate results. We also plan on doing in-depth analysis of the concept studies as well as about orbital perturbations. Here we also have listed some of the references that we used during our project. We hope that this presentation kindled the spark in you to explore this domain. Thank you and hoping to see you all in Astronomy Club IIT Kanpur.